Every summer there is an exodus from our sultry plains to the cool repose of the highlands. We journey by rail. We journey by road. Ever upwards. Until the sweltering heat of the lowlands fades into memory. And where no iron horse or horse bar can proceed, the more adventurous rely on their own efforts. Efforts that are fully recompensed. For who can resist the magnetic charm of snowy peaks and vales? If you seek solace among the snows, you'll surely find it in the newly formed state of Himachal Pradesh, land of the snowy mountains, with an area of 10,600 square miles and a population of nearly a million. Bounded by Kashmir, Tibet, Uttar Pradesh and the Punjab, Himachal Pradesh has been formed out of more than a score of smaller hill states. The present districts are Chamba, Mandi, Mahasu and Sirmur. The region is a sparkling network of streams, waterfalls and rivers. Bridges are a rarity in the state, so when we come to a river, we may have to cross in this fashion. A novel experience. All it needs is courage, patience and muscle. In other regions, an inflated skin forms the happy medium for safe transit, plus your own power. The advantages here of class one travel are, well, smoking is permitted and somebody else supplies the motivation. Every summer when the passes are free of snow, caravans enter the state from neighboring Tibet, bringing furs and wool to sell in the markets. The trails are rough and if one cannot afford to ride, then one must put it out. The mountain goats and sheep are highly valued, for not only are they used as beasts of burden, but supply as well an excellent quality of wool. Spinning is common and the blankets they weave are warm and lasting. However, the main occupation of the people is farming. Their patches of land that hug the mountainside yield full crops of wheat and gram, pulses and maize. crisp climate, fruits thrive to perfection. But the master crop of all is the humble potato. It grows uncommonly well and is the cash crop of the state. Rich in beauty, the region is also rich in forests of deoda, fir and pine. of wood under the guiding hand of man are put to the best possible use. Aside from timber, the forests are another source of wealth, for the pines are tapped for resin. is distilled in a factory situated within the state.
important product of distillation is turpentine oil. And another is rosin, which is widely used in the manufacture of soaps, varnishes, paints and disinfectants. The only major industrial concern in Himachal Pradesh is the foundry located in the town of Nahan in Sirmo district. It manufactures a variety of agricultural implements that find ready markets at home and abroad. Leaving the Han and journeying roughly northwards, we come to the city of Rampur Bishar in Mahasu district, famed for its palace and many temples. The singular design of these temples is evidence of the creative skill and industry of their builders. Also is an ancient Buddhist Tibetan temple, renowned for its gigantic prayer wheel, which houses several million mantras or benedictions. Rampur Bushar is a vital training center on the route that links India to Tibet. Like her sisters elsewhere, Milady from Tibet shops to enhance her charm, while her menfolk purchase on a more practical plane. Himalayan Robin Hoods believe in the saying, laugh and the world laughs with you. They are attending a festival in Mahasu district. Well, that's what's called a sitting target. Many have come from far and near, attired in their best to join in mime, mirth and merriment. With the local music ringing in our ears, let's next visit the picturesque city of Chamba with the rushing Ravi River flowing nearby. Chamba has many temples of which the most notable is the Lakshmi Narayan Temple. It dates from the 10th century AD and is of striking design. The townsmen have a reputation for being gracious towards strangers, while the hard-working women folk are comely, cheerful and courteous. women are well known for the excellence of their embroidery. And the local cobblers are famed for their artistic footwear. From Chamba we hide to Mandi district in which is located the giant hydroelectric project at Jugendranagar. Run by the Punjab government, the unit supplies electricity to Punjab and West Pakistan. This is the town of Mandi, which is situated astride the Bayas River. Mandi market is alive with the chatter and patter of these hardy mountain folk. Himachal Pradesh is noted for the many recruits it supplies to the Indian Army. Here too a carnival spirit fills the air for the festival of Shivratri is underway. Devtas, the local gods, honor the occasion with a timely dance.
It is therefore in a joyful mood that we bid adieu to Himachal Pradesh, gay gem indeed of the Himalayas.